Well, I'm at the Crystal River Public Beach here, about to launch. I'm gonna go fish some reefs, looking for a limit of sea trout if I can find it. It's my first time fishing here. Um, redfish, slot redfish would be nice too, but we'll give it a shot. It's supposed to be pretty calm on the water, which is what I like for kayak fishing. Trout that hit on the drop. That is my first sea bass. That's pretty cool. The first one of those. That's why it hit on the drop. It's probably right near the bottom. I do not even know the regulations on those. But if I catch more, I might look it up. not quite big enough. Maybe. Get him on the board here. Just over 14. You gotta be 15 to keep. It's a good sign. She's using the Z-Man diesel minnows. This is a beer run color. I've never actually used it um, on a trout eye jig head. Let's see if we can do that again. Super slow retrieve, but he smashed it. There's fish. Maybe I won't pull anchor. Before. I haven't fished Crystal River either. Try a little faster retrieve. Right on the edge. I'm gonna let him go. It's like 14 and 7 eighths. I mean, there's fish around at slack tide. That's it's only gonna get better. That was a faster retrieve. I'm 
getting bit. I don't know. By what? That's bigger. That feels good. That feels real good. Those trout just thrash. That's a keeper sea trout there. Put them on the board. Sixteen inches even. Get them on the ice. Yeah. All right, that's what we came for. Get four more of those. I'm just running twenty pound braid to a double uni knot and then eight pound maximum mono. I like the stretch of the mono because those trout have a real tendency to spit the hook. And fluorocarbon doesn't really stretch. So I wanted the stretch of the mono. And then I've got this noodle rod, steelhead rod. I like that too because it provides a lot of cushion. So between the stretch and the cushion of the rod, I mean, I haven't lost one yet. I've only caught three, but every one that I've hooked solid has stayed on. There's fish. Dragging me into the grass, coming off. Ooh, that, damn. This is I was talking about the setup I was doing. There he is, he came back. <laughs> oh, that's a lady fish. Don't poop on me. All right. I am actually gonna keep this. Save it for tarpon bait. Cause ladyfish are always around bait. I've had a lot of times where if I find ladyfish, I'll also find trout. And they're super aggressive, so I've never eaten them. I don't know if I want to, but they're fun to catch. Oh, I lost my anchor, so now I'm just drifting the flats. And I switched over to easy shrimp. Getting a lot of ladyfish bites. And I only had eight pound test on my other rod, so. <clears throat> I was fraying, I'm having to retie all the time.
that's another first for me. Holy crap. That's cool. I don't usually fish this haphazard. started and I'm drifting these flats and I hooked fish just all through the flat so I don't hate the pace I'm working at just without an anchor I can't really move to spots and set up Video captured that very well. I Honestly, it looked like a barracuda. It could have been a snook. I don't know. The wind and the waves are building. I don't know how much longer I should stay out. I've caught in a day. Well, the wind has swung around. It's out of the like straight north, so it's blowing me the wrong direction for getting back home. It was blowing west earlier, which was pushing me back toward where I started. Uh, and it's getting a little choppy too. Um, so get back to the car and hit the road. Uh, about five hours of fishing. It was going pretty well until I lost the anchor, and then I had to just kind of randomly fish. But altogether, crazy mixed bag. Flats were pretty productive. I got a flounder, four sea trout, a bunch of ladyfish, and a couple sea bass. So all in all, pretty good day. First time fishing this spot. I'll definitely be back.